there is an interesting information that came out about asteroid 2001 F032. It is a near earth asteroid and it is going to make the closest approach in astronomical terms like 1.25 million miles to the earth and it safely passes the earth on March 21st in few days. We know the path of this asteroid around the sun accurately. It is orbiting every 2.25 years. This asteroid was discovered 20 years ago and it's been tracked ever since by NASA because it is considered as one of the potentially hazardous asteroid because of the speed and the size of the asteroid. So when it approaches in March, on March 21st, the 2001 F432 is going to pass the Earth at 77,000 miles per hour, which is roughly 124,000 kilometers per hour. It is faster than general asteroids. Generally, asteroids pass anywhere between like 30 to 55,000 miles, and this is going at 77,000 miles per hour. Because of the way the eccentric orbit around the sun, so it, it comes really fast towards the solar system, and when it leaves the solar system, it slows down again. The size of the asteroid is 0 0.6 miles. Uh, to give you the perspective of the size of the asteroid, so International Space Station is size of a soccer field. So this is like 10 soccer field size. Or you can think of like size of a Golden Gate Bridge, right? So the fascinating aspect of this asteroid is using a backyard telescope, if it is 8 inch of aperture or more, you might be able to detect the motion of the asteroid in front of the stars. Uh, you can use like Stellarium Online or the Skylive for more details uh, for observing. For the people in the northern side, uh, you need to look towards the southern sky and it is very low in the southern sky near the constellation of Scorpius and Sagittarius. For observers in the southern side of the US, the asteroid is very low in the sky, actually 20 degrees or lower, just before the morning time on the 21st. So 4.45 a.m. like Eastern time on the 21st, when it actually comes closer to the Earth, this comet is observable with the telescope. So I was able to capture a picture of M101 galaxy using the RASA 11 telescope. I'll share more details how I captured this one and how I used the Hobim mount as well in my future videos. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in watching these videos, please feel free to subscribe. Thank you.